up the middle, gloved by Murphy. There's one, and they will not get the double play. Wow, did Chase Utley go in hard at second as the tying run scores. Tejada is down. The game is tied. And now we check on Tejada. Tejada looked like a receiver coming over the middle, having his feet knocked out from under him by a defensive back. Check this out. This is going to be a tough turn anyway. The ball behind second base, he was going to turn that way to make a throw. Utley got off on a great secondary lead, and he gets right there to break up the double play. Didn't even start sliding till he was even with the bag. This is a play you used to see that happen a lot 30 years ago. Very rarely see it happen now. What a collision. Utley took a shot to the face, too. That was going to be a tough double play to turn anyway. But Utley made sure they need that run. They need that tying run. Tejada got upended. It almost seemed like he landed right on his back. You see Utley with his eyes closed. He's in some pain, too. Yes, great play, great great play, play to by the back. Murphy. Wow, that was a violent collision. You take a look at Utley right here. He's coming in. He'll take a shot. You like that the slide, knee. Cal? It's, it, you don't think that's dirty? I think that's it's a, it's a hard nose play. It just looked more different because he was trying to turn around and make an acrobatic throw. If you're coming in straight forward, yeah. you see him in front of you. You can jump over him. Yeah. Oh, they're making him sit down now. You have these tests for concussion and other things that they will go through. You know, Mattingly's on the field because he might challenge to see if the how to touch the base or not. It wasn't conclusive on our angle right there. It looked like he barely got to the back side of the bag. What's well, interesting that if they challenged the play, but did Utley ever touch the bag? Late slide. He no. never touched the bag. You know, he came back to the bag and touched it afterwards. They're bringing he, a cart out here to second base. Is. Meantime, for Ruben Tejada. Did his toe get little, on the bag? a little space right there. Let's see if he goes forward a little further. I didn't see the base move. You have to keep it going to see if Utley actually came back and touched the bag. And he didn't. He, he never did. He went straight off the field. We're really just concerned for Tahada's health right now. What made that so tough? And Cal, I mean, you, you speak to this. Tejada, kind of with his back to the play when it happened, as he tried to make that spin and make the pivot. Well, what you're taught, you're taught is in that instance, you cannot let the shortstop turn too, because it's the time run. Yeah, you're coming in to make contact here to break up the double play. You're expecting them to, to come towards you face front. Once he turns around to try to make the acrobatic throw the other way, then it puts him in a situation that looks like a real violent collision. It would be a hard collision anyway, but that's that's coming in, in my opinion, just to break up the double play. That was normal. They're stabilizing his leg or knee right now. To hot in a lot of pain. Now remember, if, if Manningly is challenging whether to how to touch the base, Collins can re-challenge because Utley never touched the base. Yeah, he got him on a right leg that was planted.
Anytime you can get your legs off the ground before the contact, then nothing uh, sticks and nothing is there to break. You're saying you can see, there, yeah, the Dodger players come in and say, look, he never touched, he never touched the bag on the force. But what they're not saying is, hey, Utley never touched the bag either. And ran off the field. They continue to tend to Ruben Tejada on the field here. Ruben Tejada of the New York Mets on the medical cart taking its route through the Dodger bullpen with what appears to be an air cast on his right leg after a tough violent collision at second base with Chase Utley breaking up a double play. They wouldn't even allow that in the NFL. If a receiver is vulnerable, they wouldn't let a defensive back hit him like that. And that's what Utley did right there. I don't think there was any intent to do that, but that's what happened. I'm wondering, how do they treat Utley not touching second base? Well, that'll be up to Terry Collins right now, who can say, look, I'd like to challenge as well. And say the runner never touched the bag.